good, y'all? Welcome back to the CFL Podcast. Do not forget, tomorrow, tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern, or whatever time you're looking at the flyer, I'm pretty sure it's 4 p.m. Eastern, though. Uh, David Turley, Donald Turley, I'm sorry. Donald Turley will be on the show. He is coming by. He's the special guest. Yes, Donald Turley, the former Marine, who is now a Jackson State player, going into his sophomore season, right? He's going to be on the show. Remember when I first introduced him, y'all was like, dang, you know, why is he, you know, that old and a freshman? And then you realize, oh, he was in the service. So meet me there. Well, don't meet me there. Beat me there. All right. Be on time. Be early, as a matter of fact, because we're going we gonna to have some fun with that. Um, But today we are going to be talking about another player who reached out and really reached out to Coach Prime in the Jackson State program on joining them potentially. Um, so if you were, would remember my video from yesterday with the five-star receiver, uh, who they could be getting or maybe not, you know, when he commented on the coach prime's video, uh, there was another player who did so as well. Shout out to my boy, Aaron Sanders. I'm pretty sure he's the one who tagged me in it. And this kid goes by the name of Jordan Griffin. Now, what he said under the video, uh, was, I think it was something along the lines of, because I'm paraphrasing, uh, I'm ready, Coach Prime, let's do it. Like, I'm ready and available. You know, like, let, you know, let's do it. Like, that was basically the gist of his uh, his post. So, I'm, I didn't even know he was in the transfer portal, to be honest with you, but it looks like he is in Jackson State is where he wants to call home next. That was blatant, you know, the way he said it. It's clear he wants to be at Jackson State. We'll see if they uh, if they pick him up. But just to give you a little, a little bit of his background, right? Coming out of high school, he's from New Orleans, Louisiana. Okay, 5'10", 192 pounds, and he is a running back, of course. He went to school in high school at McDonald, McDonald 35. That is an odd name for a high school, but I'm not, I'm not from Louisiana, so I don't, I don't know. So out of high school, right, he was... Top one, he was one of the top 100 rushers in the state. He earned all Metro 4A and all District 4A honors. He leaves high school. He goes to Texas Wesleyan University. That is the first school that he attended. Okay, he spent one season at Texas Wesleyan University. All right, when he appeared in eight games, carried the ball 35 times for 73 yards, and broke out a season-long 23-yard rush. Keep in mind, if you're not uh, if you if I haven't said his class already, he is a redshirt sophomore. In the 2020 season, he transfers to UL Lafayette, the Raging Cajuns. At Lafayette, he only made one appearance versus ULM. In that appearance, he carried the ball seven times for 30 yards, including a long rush of 12 yards. After that season is over with. He takes his talents to southeastern Louisiana, which is the, the school he's leaving from. That's that's the latest school that he's been to. There's no record of him um, statistically in a game. But I do have film. I have practice film, which y'all are most likely seeing right now. Um, so you be the judge. You be the judge. It seems like he's back in the transfer portal. And, you know, he's been he's been hopping a little bit. He's looking for a place to call home. Um, a lot of people would probably think that, you know, Jackson State doesn't really need another running back, you know, because they do have eight already. Um, very talented at as well. But we don't know Coach O. We don't know what Coach Prime. We don't know what they're thinking. If they see value in Jordan Griffin, they are going to get Jordan Griffin more than likely. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. But I just wanted to update you and let you know this was the other kid who was in the comments section, the other player who wants to be a part of the Jackson State program. That like that comment says it. Like I'm not. I'm not thinking this. Okay, I'm not speculating this that comment literally says that you feel me so you take from this what you will you let me know down in the comment section below um if this kid is the kind of kid you would want at jackson state um don't be a couch coach please do not be a couch coach oh you know he can add depth but i don't he's not gonna give us much like i don't, don't be that kind of person um <laughs> but with that being said man you're watching the cfl podcast i go by the name of kobe and i'm out peace